We're back on this Thursday morning. Stephanie Duplissy is with us in La Coman Race for the Cure. Stephanie, welcome back. Hi. Always fun having you. Thank you. Thank it's good you to see you this morning. Thank good you, to see you Stephanie. as well. Yes. And uh, what's coming up as far as June is going to be an important month as far as the race here is Yes, concerned. it is. June kicks off our race uh, for the Cure meeting. We'll mm -hmm. start uh, meeting and planning for race, which is October 29th. So I'd love to, any volunteers ready to come in and help, I'll be w willing to accept you. So <laughs> <laughs> Volunteers are essential to yes. put this race on. And it's going to yes. be here before you know it. October will be here. Yes. You know, pretty quick. Yes, it's Saturday, October 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, we plan to have a, a very fun-filled day with some music entertainment after we're after race, and um, I'm excited to start the planning process. Well, but you need the volunteers. Yes. So recruiting volunteers is your foremost right now. Yes, and they can email me at Stephanie D at comanacadiana.org if they're interested in volunteering. You also wanted to kind of. Uh, talk to people about the grantees that are being funded by yes. Coleman. Yes, so June 1st, uh, we awarded our grantees for the year, mm -hmm. which will be um, uh, four grantees that we have selected. They will receive their funding on June 1st, and it'll begin uh, for the following next year. Right. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about the grantees selected. So we have selected uh, mainly people. We've looked at our community profile, and we look to see what is the uh, most that we find that is a need. And of course, patient access uh, to treatment. Right. Um, that's one of our priorities, plus education outreach and um, as well as patient navigation. Pa you know, patients always, always hear this, that whenever they receive a diagnosis, they look to say, what, are, what do we do? Where do we go? So uh, the grantees we have funded, um, that's their key points, is really access to treatment. Mm -hmm. um, Miles Perrette in Lafayette, Miles Perrette Cancer Services, and um, Lafayette General Health Hospital Systems. They have two grants that they've received, one for St. Martin Hospital, one for UHC. And our last is Southwest Louisiana Primary Care, and that's also um, in the Lafayette Parish. But these grantees serve probably I would say eight of the parishes of our service area mm -hmm. so um, and their screening process is really what they're funding is screening processes for women who are under insured or not insured right to so allow them so I'm sure they appreciate this, this yes they do will really help them yes, and you do. know Mark it seems when you're first diagnosed the most, um, after you take it, you know, you understand that you've been dying. You don't know where to begin. Right. That's, and w you know, where to start. Right. So mm -hmm. this will give people the opportunity to help them through that journey. Exactly. Uh, I took a tour at one of our Miles Perrette Cancer Services last week, and one of the services they provide for the community is when you are diagnosed, you can go there and uh, they have education, they have mm -hmm. support groups, they tell you what are in, what's in, what do you need? And it's not just for, uh, you know, it's not on your income, it's for anyone. And Put your mind at ease a little bit. Yes, and they do have a bus that travels to different parishes. Mm -hmm. They come up to Evangeline Parish as well, which is closest to us in Sin yeah. Law, and they offer these services. Oh. They have wigs that they fit for patients, right, right. you know, so. That's well, one. Uh, remind us again when the race is here in Central Louisiana. October Louisiana. 29th of October. Yes. And uh, like we said earlier, uh, it'll be here before you know it. Yes, so, it will. Volunteers so. are really important too. Yes, they are. They're sure very vital. Smokes. They're very vital to the race and making sure the success of it because there's so much leading up to it. Mm -hmm. uh, just yeah. preparing for packet pickups and uh, you know, entering people in for the registration. So, well, Stephanie, we are so happy that you joined us this morning on Good Day Sin Law. Thank, Thank you for you. sharing. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having Thanks, me. Stephanie. Have a great day. Tuna Kapaluxi Pow Wow will tell you all about it. Mm -hmm.